Hey, welcome back. Thank you everybody who liked and subscribed to the previous video. Today's video is also going to be on my brand new Aprilia Touareg 660. We're gonna to go to the top of a four and a half thousand foot mountain. We're gonna see Africa from the top and then we're gonna ride back down again. Oh uh, yes, look, you see the Atlas Mountains. And today's little secret is the website that I use to figure out a lot of these routes. I've got some routes loaded up on Wikilock, which isn't responding, close app, bye. <laughs> That's a great start. So the website I use is a crowdsourcing website. That means crowd knowledge, which means it's not always 100% reliable as we will discover later with many kerfuffles. It's another sunny morning here in the Almeria race circuit. You can hear all the bikes on Almeria and Andalusia. I didn't do a proper intro before, so this is Ali. Hi, Ali. This is Ali's bike, which is a Triumph Old Man Magnet Scrambler 1200 XC. Everyone wants to come over and say how good it looks. This is my Touareg. It's got 400 kilometers on it and only one oil leak. So pretty good for an Aprilia, actually. Got my drone just in case. Got tire repair kits on both bikes. Got first aid kits on both bikes. We've got three liters of water eat. We've got a whole bunch of chocolate banana cereal bars. We're good to go. Let's roll. The mountain, you can actually see it from the racetrack of Almeria. And I've been wanting to go up there for days. So when I found this trail that was a beautiful 90 minute loop, I couldn't resist it. I had to do it. So I downloaded the trail to my app and then we can see it starts at Tabernas, moves around up to the Colatevi, which is four and a half thousand feet, 1387 meters, and then follows the ridge line to the next peak, which is also about the same height, and then carves its way back down into the desert. The interesting part is this. You've got the desert on this side and you've got the sea on the other and you can see both parts of the uh, Andalusian landscape from the top. If we zoom in a bit, the first part of the journey is pretty simple. We're going to follow the road down to the riverbed and then we follow this riverbed all the way along to the solar farm. Zoom in my navigation. Well this is the back end of Tabernas. Says 90 minutes says it's easy and 90 minutes so tune in later to find out how that went this is a this is a gully this was a road look this is an old tarmac oh look at these dogs uh, should have gone left I think sorry man sorry Bye. I didn't see a lefty there. Where are we? We're supposed to go left there. Oh, the two tracks come together anyway. There was apparently a track through that way. But you know what? It all comes together up here in this valley, anywho. A, just a column of wind carved rock. A lot of wind carving going on here. Look at these holes. Look, I guess that's birds as well. It did say you can do it on street tires, which is kind of what I was looking for, to be honest. I would be very surprised if we find anything comparable to the Goraf in the next 10 years. Considering that manufacturers spent about six years spending big money flying me away to see stuff and ride through it. And I've never, I can't believe they never took us there before. Well, they, they did for Yamaha for the world, for the world raid launch, didn't they? Okay, straight ahead, whatever that is, there's three, Hold on. Follow the riverbed, I think. Yeah, follow the riverbed. Yeah, I would not want to be riding my 1250 through this. 
this is the shit where the heavy bikes get get really awkward. Uh, lefty on this junction. Looks a bit sandy. I'm going to keep it moving. It's fine. Now we're on the road. It's a big old solar power station here. We're going to go right through the middle of it. And then we're going to get into another riverbed. At the next riverbed, we keep going all the way to the foot of the mountain. And this is the first really awesome road. This is the Camino de los Peñones de la Sierra. We're on a very old road now. Done some hairpins already. Just sand over what feels like a hard pack surface. More throttle required there. It's funny that it's obviously such a, it was an important road at some point because there's a lot of hours gone into this. And yet it just goes into that river down there and just dies. Wow, we're getting a better view now. There's still a few hairpins ahead of us. We're climbing a lot. I have no idea why somebody spent millions and millions of euros creating a beautifully graded gravel road up the side of a mountain. But I'm grateful. It's fantastic. Some of these houses that you think are abandoned, they're not. They've got brand new solar cells on the roof. Ah, there's the road below us. Hairpin after hairpin, carving its way up the hillside, it just never seems to stop. Well, we, yeah, we've just got enough height over the desert floor now, haven't we, to start getting enough moisture from the clouds and the airflow and the mountain for the trees to grow. God, this is a really pretty trail. Wow, somebody's farming this land up here, I think. 
Oh, look at this house. Who lives in a house like this? I'd say for your average customer, this would be a full day, this trail. You'd also have to think about having a support vehicle handy that can get up here. I mean, I could get up here in the transit van, to be fair. Lefty hairpin coming up. And of course there's a path that goes on the other way. Oh, that's private. It's got a gate on it. Fancy that. And when you do finally get to the top, you're on this beautiful ridgeline road. To the north of you is the desert floor, and to the south of you is the sea. Do you want a drink in the back or a little? Then let's park over here, I'd say. Uh, let me have a look. There's a, I think there's another hairpin up ahead. Let's go to the next next hairpin. Might be more photogenic. That was the. Oh, I'll have to look at the map. I, I don't know how to pronounce that while I've been riding the bike. Dan. So there's a left hairpin, and we're going to go right. This might be near the top. Should we have a quick look? Should we go high just to see what's up there? Yeah. Fuck it. We can get back on the trail in a minute. I think that's the summit there. Oh, it's the red. It's the. It's the antenna bar. Oh my God! You can see the sea. Should we find somewhere around here? That is 1,387 metres high because it's on my map. It says the peak is called Kola TV. Kola TV has a radar uh, uh, and it's 1,387 metres high at that point. Right, this is a viewpoint here it says. With this side. Probably not allowed to fly the drone here today, but there you go. There's the peak that's on the public side, look. How irradiated are we getting, do you think? You want one of them feet things that I've... That was a good kick, man. I've got to congratulate you on that kick. <laughs> Hey, do you like sheet plastic? Ah, uh, yes, look. You see the Atlas Mountains? Oh, wow. Look at bump time. Don't leave me hanging. Next, we've got to go to the Atlas Mountains, take the adventure bikes and have a real adventure. Have some nice coffee in the desert. Yeah, let's have a little rest. Take some photos as well. Man, I'm so happy with my Aprilia. You know, there's barely any oil coming out of that hole. <laughs> and there's the summit. So let's go to the summit and have our uh, our little treat. Instituto Geografico. There we go. We've made it. Good ride. Adventure Trail with a good reward, a great reward. Okay, let's go again, over to the next peak. Hey, uh, lefty, <laughs> not straight on funnily enough. Okay, so somewhere up ahead, I'm expecting the road to, to separate. Oh, we've got two peaks ahead of us with radio farms on them, so I'm expecting that there's a road going that way. 
and this one is called the Camino de Toro Via the, the road that's going to go to the right and that's the one back down to the Tavernus Valley okay oh hold on I'm slowing down Let's have a look so that must be to the left that must be to the next radio farm I can see the road up there you see it it's getting steep dude do we need to see any more peaks or should we just crack on yeah then we'll stay right yeah that's it that one pretty steep uh we can go left to the radio farm or we can go right oh what's this what's this say Trabajos de Cultura Preventiva Mecanizada en Montes Publico. No idea. I'll Google Translate that when we get back. Okay. Down we go. Yeah, crazy hairpins off to the right there. Look at that. But we're not using that, we're going a different way. Oh wow, that's a lot of sign. Oh wow. Ridge line. I saw some houses down there, and they're not actually that far underneath us. Some big farms. Well, he got up here two up, so... Oh, look at these rocks. Let's go to these rocks. Dude, you can scare me again. That's the village we stayed in the night before. There's the quarry, so it's just behind that. There it is. Yep. This is rough. Wow, look at the textures and the colours. We could have gone to the next radio farm, but we didn't have time, so we headed south and followed the route down through this beautiful farm track, a little bit worse condition than the first one, but very, very rewarding to ride and full of fantastic views. And that just keeps going all the way down to the valley bottom, where you eventually rejoin the river and find yourself in the riverbed. we're recording again so we just came down that mountain right from that antenna farm at the top there the radio station and it was a lot looser and a lot steeper than the way up but still manageable on the street bikes with the off-road style tires but uh yeah it was definitely more difficult on the way down wasn't it well that's the mountain conquered I wonder where we'll go next. Maybe for some lunch. At the same end of town, 
that ri that riverbed that we got down into, we could follow it the other way. So we could go do that. I mean, we could dip to the Repsol if you wanted, and then just go straight into the desert. This may have been my worst idea ever, just so you know. The moral of this story is, don't trust everything on Wikiloc. Shit. Oh. Yo. That guy looks like he's waiting for us, I think. Oh, what's that? Oh, he's put a gate across it. Is he waving at us? Oh, do you think he's phoning the police? Thank you. 